Hello ladies and gentlemen others, welcome back to the Nipa TV show, I'm your host, Nipa TV, that's me, we're gonna be playing some more Valhalla, or VA11 Hall A, Cyberpunk Bartender Action! Let's get right into it, we just, uh, just did our, our first break, or I guess our only break until the end of our shift, so, anyways, boss should clean the chicken buckets that she throws out, everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. Oh, uh, chick books. You could take a couple minutes more, you know. I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now, take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. <laughs> right. Yes, it's open. Great. Welcome to Valhalla. Good evening. <laughs> um, what kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sorta. Kinda? Yeah. Well, this is a bar. A bar? Nice! Nice! What can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I could work with. <laughs> what about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter? Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Let me see what I can get you. Okay. Let's do bitter. And I think it's the Grizzly Temple, right? No. There was one I saw before that was... I think it's the Suplex. I'm this on tongue burning. No. What's the other one? It's I think it's the sunshine cloud. Tastes like chocolate milk, some like caramel too. Bitter girly soft. Boom. This is it. Okay. Addle hide. Let's get some Bronson extract. Optional Carmatrine. These are on the rocks and blended. So let's give it. Let's wait until it speeds up. Boom. Try this. Yep, this'll do just fine. Thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm st I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. I'm Kira Miki. Kira Miki. So, so, should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? No, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Miki. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira, and you say Miki, okay? Okay. Kira? Ki Miki. M Miki. N no, 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 no. Put more spirit into it. Kira? M Miki. Almost there! <laughs> Kira? Miki. Kira? Miki! Kira? Miki! <laughs> Kira? Make everyone nice. That's it. Are you feeling it? Kira Maker <laughs> Kira <laughs> Okay, okay, God, this is getting so annoying. Ki Kira, Miki. And don't you ever forget it. What the hell am I doing out here? Um, where we where were we, Jamie? R right. I was telling you. Wow, you're good. Thank you. It's a nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait, you're the Lilum that's putting on a concert tonight. I'm one Lilum who is putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilum you're looking for. And what are you doing all the way down here? Well, <laughs> they were making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concert's posters outside and decided to check this place. Just that? Isn't that a bit... dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? <laughs> he will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. I, I see. How big is the concert? <laughs> we planned for a bit over 100,000 people and sold out fast. So, we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. 
Yeah, <laughs> I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal. That's nice. Over 100,000 is not many? Then what exactly is? Hold on, then based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Mickey, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Oh, I like that. <laughs> hey, do you have anything soft? Soft as in alcohol free? No, I meant soft as in soft. Soft? Well, let's see what I can get you. Alright, soft. Let's see. Huh. I... Sparkle Star. They used to actually sparkle, but too many complaints about skin problem made the redesigned drink without the sparkling. Sure. She's not being very specific, so let's go and do this. Uh, aged and mixed. There you go. Here! Aw, oh, man, this isn't soft. I'm gonna reek of alcohol. You should have thought about that before ordering drinks in a godforsaken bar. We have mints that can help you with that. But it wouldn't have been easier if you just said what you needed in your drink. Which is true. Oh, I'll keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Oh, no. <laughs> Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, okay. Oh, sure, I guess. No guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay, then. Who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss? I wonder if Gil would like it, too, though. Your name, girl? Oh, for Jill, then. For Jill. Never lose your star. From Kira Miki. Kira Miki. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No. Thank you. So, tell me more about this concert of yours. Well, we're promoting my new single. It's called Shine Spark. I say that, but people are still look forward to my old single, Your Love is a Drug. Is this person Kesha? <laughs> is this blue Kesha in the future as a robot, a Lilum? I'm worried I might become a one-note star, you know. Oh, Lilums are uh, artificial intelligence. My bad. Nah. Eh. I don't know. Whatever. <clears throat> Anyways, the tour is called Shining Star, and we've been traveling the whole continent. We sold out of tickets fast, so we decided to give an encore concert after all others are done. Oh, nice. But I'm not gonna bore you with details you'll find in tomorrow's newspapers anyways. I got this awesome dress that looks all cat-like. My hairdresser, Agnes, came up with a hairstyle that makes me look like I have cat ears and all. What do cats have to do with stars? Nothing. I just like cats. My producer suggested a bunny, though. I, I see. You know, if I hadn't ended up on stage singing, I'd probably be the one planning the pyrotechnics. When you enter the stage and the sparks start flying, that's magical, you know? You've never burned yourself with those fireworks? I've heard ugly stories from other musicians. Kee <laughs> hee! No, not yet. I singed from my hair once. I singed? I singed my hair once, but I just went for, for something short for a bit. People seem to love it. I should go back to it sometime. Um, how do Lilum get longer hair? Okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. Damn! In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. How fitting. If everything goes as planned and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as the reach, as I reach the climax of the song. I'd be depressed if they asked for Your Love is a Drug as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets worth the ridiculous price, you know? Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah. One time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Okay. Let's see what I can find for you. All right, so let's find something bitter and something to wake them up. Sunshine Cloud? Let's not give the Karma Train this time. 
and it's on the rocks and blended. So we gotta let's wait until it gets all fast. There you go. Try this. Yeah, this works. Cool. I didn't mess up the stuff. So how is it? Mm, it could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was for waking you up or something. So, really nice. Thanks. I hope you aren't offended by this question, but... Hmm? I can see that you enjoy what you do, but how much of it is about the music? <laughs> I'll let you know that before becoming Kira Mickey. Kira Mickey. I was a very accomplished pianist. I had concerts every week and part-time in bars with a jazz band. Oh! I still write and compose my own songs. Whoa. Why the change? Go for, Going from jazz and piano to idol? Have you ever thought about the power music has over people? You could argue it's just noise, but it can make you feel a wide range of emotions. And that power is universal. It can transcend language and culture. Being in a jazz band or performing recitals, I can only take that power to so many people. But being an idol, I could take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids and adults, men and women, they all have access to my music and I could reach every one of them. Wow. What music do you like, Jill? I'm not picky, but I do prefer versions with no lyrics. Why? I like to listen to music while working and lyrics distract me. And besides, it always bothers me when people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. I think only half of the listeners actually care about what's being said. Oh, that's a bummer. Hmm. I'd give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any at the moment. Don't worry about it. Okay then, I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, Jill. Sure. Please, come again. I'll make sure of it. Will she be alright? Mm. Yeah, she'll be fine. You think she'll come back, huh? Usually I'd say no, but honestly, I don't know. Boss, we're done. Alright. You feel like going to that girl's concert? Nah, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why? That was my Monica during my wrestling days. Your... huh? That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads! <laughs> Any reason for being red specifically? That way I was three times faster. How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah, I see. Hmm, I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In a way, Gil's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and boss? Don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. Hey, results. I think we made one mistake. Three mistakes? Uh, well, shoot. All right. Grab a snack on the way home. It's on me. Uh, I didn't get a service bonus because I'm trash. Darn. I swear I only made one mistake, but whatever. All right. Cool. So let's go get that snack. It wants me to do so. Let's shop. What what kind of snacks do we have? Hmm. Let's see. Mulan tea, the ripoff, beer on discount. Joker cycling. Despite the noise, the name is just a fan. Fans are good, though. Really good. Uh, not as sentient. But just as cute. Interesting. Okay. Well, that was fun. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account is at least 800 bucks. Cool. By then, Jill is humming your Love is a Drug, buying the song preventer from getting too distracted. You can now browse. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's, let's go to our blog here. Alright. Augmented Eye. Fun. And what's this one here? Dangerous, you, dangerous opinions, Alice thread two, Alice underscore rabbit thread two, Mickey concert, Mickey concert three. Uh, let's read this one. Alice rabbit thread two, electric boogaloo. Eh, stop fit forcing Alice, so we hate Alice now. Good, it's just that we haven't heard any news yet. Remember that time they posted here to announce the atta an attack? Lol, yeah, and I remember that cybercrime, you're up the admin's ass. December 17 will come the second retribution birth is coming that okay I'll read this uh I'll read this stuff uh actually I'll just do this right now I'll be right back okay let's go back to work 
I bought some stuff for the place too. I got like a fan of stuff, but uh, it's fine. It's, it's small stuff. Um, good evening. Oh, hi there. I was expecting the bar to be different before opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tire. <gasps> Screw my thing. Alma. Oh, Leonidas. Gillian. Marcelo. I stumbled across her on my way in and asked her if she wanted to tag along. Hope you don't mind. Sure, make yourself at home. Where's boss? She didn't put the helmet on again, did she? She went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. All right. Alma, make yourself comfortable while I prepare. Right, thanks. Bank. Time to mix drinks and change lives. What was that? Oh, just something they made me say back in instruction. It kind of stuck. Huh. I went to a school that made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in. That habit didn't rub off until high school or so. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Oh, yeah, look at this. A glass with a signature. To j j yeah. I'll assume it's either an autograph or an improv to medicine res res resper. That Kira Mickey girl came here yesterday before a concert, actually. Oh, yeah, now I see her name here. You don't seem very surprised. I like Beelink more, actually. This stoic looking duo, right? Yup, those. Never heard. Seems you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. I see. Want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Alma, um, uh, we've known each other for, what, a few months now? I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. You say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time to foster something to break. It's more like, the guy wasn't th what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. You could pretend to be more interested, you know. Like my mom says, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. Speaking of buying, you want a frame? A frame? Yeah, for all these pics you have of your boss, the ones filling your phone's memory. Some seem sneakily taken at that. Is that true? Oh! What do you care? How the hell do you find that out? So it is true! Oh. Shut up! I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't piss off a hacker. Oh, I really like this one of her sleeping in her office. I think I'll copy it. You. Hey, can you make a bad touch before we keep arguing? Make a bad touch? Pfft. Sure. Pizza with double cheese and wait, no, this is a bar. A bad touch, huh? Cool. Bronson, padded, Flanagrad, for Karma Trine, Trina, whatever have you. On the rocks and mixed. There you go. Here. Who gives these drinks their silly names? Usually the one who registers it. Some people have quite the silly sense of humor. Like that girl who keeps laughing over this particular drink's name? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, who's Damien again? The one with the nice car. Sure, he's also the manager at the bank, but that car was what caught my eye. And what was wrong with him? Turns out he was a LARPer. <laughs> LARP? What's that? <laughs> Live action roleplay. Sounds more like the nickname of some very heavy-handed writer or a military organization. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> what did he roleplay as? Have you heard of the Woodstock Fairs? Those events where people barely dress, stink, roll in the mud, and fuck in the open? Those are hippies, yeah. He frequents those, and it's something I'd rather not deal with at all. If I stayed with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean, I need to support my partner in what he does, but if it's something like that... <laughs> Society in a nutshell! <laughs> you see? That's the problem right there. You say breaking up like you had something formal, but most of the time, you're still getting to know him. Think about it. Have you ended your longest lasting relationships or things like those? Okay, sorry for not using the right word or whatever, but I'm still sorely disappointed. And at last, I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? Last night? Your cat doesn't count. A year ago, it was messy. See? 
I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. If I were you, I would have pushed Fuckboy over there into a closet ages ago. F f fuck boy ah! People have different needs and priorities. Yes, but don't you miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs, putting your head on their chest, listening to them breathe as they pet your head, dozing off knowing they're there, watching you, protecting you. Mm. Jill. Mm. Anything I can make you to shut up and drink? All of you know that my uncle Juan taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Drinking won't stop me from talking, or making tasteless puns for my Aunt Rosa. Still, get me something weird, would you? Huh, ventriloquism. Weird? A weird drink? Yeah, something different. Experimental. Uncommon. Let's see. Okay. Uh... Promo drinks definitely wouldn't be that... Um, bubbly? Bubbly's kind of weird. Let's cobalt this. It's like champagne served in the cup that had a bit of cola left. Bubbly, classy, burning. Sure. Yeah, let's give it a try. Two, Adelheid. Whoops, reset. Uh, Flanner Guide. And five, Karmatron. Karmatrine, whatever. How do you pronounce it here? And it is going to be mixed on the rocks. Boom. There you go. Here you go. Nope. This looks pretty common to me. I'll take it anyways, but no tip for this one. You know, your orders are weird today. They are? Yeah, usually the first thing you ask for is a Brantini, and then something like a Cobalt Velvet or something similar. Well, I should put, sometimes feel like I need something different, you know? Something tells me part of the reason you left this Damien is because he was too deep into a routine. Maybe. Hey, speaking of routines, as a hacker, what's your opinion on the whole Alice underscore rabbit thing? That's the silence of somebody who just heard something stupid. Stupid enough to warrant the speech they prepare just for occasions like this. As always, very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago, there was this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. Can't remember what they used to call themselves. I just remember them that it was just p petty vandalism. Anyway, everyone that participated started using the same name. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist identity. The whole Alice underscore rabbit thing is the logical conclusion of that. It's what happens when that idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. It is no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity watching from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything anyone does. Ooh, edgelord! Observing, tolerating no one but itself. A lot of bullshit from what's essentially a pet that press made up. The ant antithesis of your usual boogeyman, if you must. So, you don't think such a person exists? Don't know, don't care. I mean, we have seen the actions of such an entity, but it might be anything. An individual, a group, an AI. It's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. So, Alice underscore rabbit is a thing that exists, but it's also really muddied overall. There's something else that worries me though. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They start trying to hack stuff without knowing the risks or consequences. Imagine if, suddenly, a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me, and it's thanks to that damn Alice underscore rabbit thing. I see. But, enough of that, there's a more pressing matter at hand. There is? Yeah, you've been delaying my invitations for hanging out sometime for too long. Oh. Matt. Do you hate me that much, Jill? Does my presence make you that uncomfortable? No, I... At this rate, I might just crash by your apartment. That way you can't just say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night. We could all have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories all night, shower together. You know, you need some human warmth in that place. Your tits alone would fill my entire bathroom. Damn! Oh! <laughs> Man, you react too nonchalantly. <laughs> it's no fun! <laughs> react a little bit. Let me tease you for a second. I refuse. In all seriousness, no. Uh, any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations? 
I mean, it's not a date. I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. I'm not a morning person. I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. The earliest I've asked you out is 10 a.m., you know. That's early morning by my standards. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out. I just don't want to wake up early. You are hopeless. Anyway, I'm going to need another drink here. Like, say, a big brantini. Finally, that's the Elma I know. All right, big brantini coming right up. Right up, right up. So let's double this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Aged and mixed. There you go. Here. You know, Brantini is such a weird name. It was originally supposed to replicate the Martini. Problem is, the BTC got a hold of a brand of vermouth that was named after a certain automobile company. So, on a weird whim, they changed the name. I see. You know, I was wondering. Yeah? Don't you worry about what the, the people you work for might be doing with the information you provide? Not really. You don't. Do you worry about what happens when people leave this place drunk? Not really, most of the time. Well, neither do I. Why should you? Do you get people drunk? Some say my beauty is intoxicating, but that's besides the point. I get my payment, do my job, and forget about the whole thing. You make your job sound so easy. Once you understand what precautions to take, it's no problem, and I've always found my job fun. However, most of my contracts are consultancy-based gigs. It's not like every day's a thrill. Do you meet with your client, or...? I don't. It's always from behind, as many filters as I can manage. I remember I once did a job where I had a couple of kids relaying letters. For security reasons, right? Actually, because that way I lose a lot less time. I don't have to deal with clients hitting on me or pestering me after the job's done. I also don't have to lose time proving my worth because big boobs equals small brain or some shit like that. I mean, protecting my identity is one of the reasons, but the few times I've shown myself... <sighs> they weren't even risky or dangerous jobs, just run-of-the-mill security checks. I don't know, maybe I need to show up as a disheveled nerd or something, give them what they'd expect to see. Or I just don't show up and save myself the trouble. Why all the questions? Just things I've been curious about and always forget to ask. So many Alice underscore rabbit headlines have made me wonder about the hacking business too. Oh, I'll remember to ask you things next time then. Well, I'll take my leave now. See ya. Take care. Hello, sugar. Oh! Hello, Mr. Donovan. <laughs> like my pop used to say, never touch the ass of a woman with metallic arms. I think it's more like plastic and carbon fiber. They're hard as fuck, and that's all my abdomen felt. Do you normally greet people that way? I'm the I'm a man that can't contain himself when he sees something he likes, kid. Oh, but don't worry, you're safe. You're flatter than the field at my summer house. Wow. A bit of advice, you shouldn't provoke the ones serving you drinks or food. Don't be a friendly kid. You have your audience. I'm just not part of it. Today, I'm making this a quick one. Gotta to tend to business in a while. Having said that, I'll just have the usual. The usual, he says? Uh, beer. I think it's a beer. And he likes the double, so... Or... I hope I don't mess this up. All mixed. Cool. The usual. Sure, this'll work. Hmm, yikes, whoops. Eh, what brings you today, Mr. Donovan? That girl I interviewed yesterday is coming again in a couple of weeks. So, I was working to clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I'm Donovan T. Dawson. I always get what I want. Sure, I had to blackmail the editors of others' outlets, but the end result is what matters. I see. Wait, blackmail? You'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you find out when you get the right people drunk. Hmm? Hey, the signature on that glass over there. Uh, oh yeah. That big-tittied Luum was here. She came yesterday before the concert, yeah? 
Anything juicy come out of her visit? No. Gossip worthy? No. Tabloid worthy? No. Come on, there has to be something! Well, her love for what she does is so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. No, oh, don't give me that shit! Throw me a bone here, anything! I've got nothing. Everyone has a price. How much for your to spill the beans? I'm serious here. She said nothing that could be used against her, or that didn't, or that you didn't already know. Fine. Hey kid, do you think Lilum have nipples? I excuse me? <laughs> I mean, I've seen a couple of pornos where they have them, but they could be modded, you know. So yesterday, while interviewing the singer Lilum Trick, I kept wondering if those tits had nipples. I mean, I'd be fine without them, but the curiosity is killing me. <sighs> but I'm even more curious about the engineers that designed them. Can you picture a room full of people discussing whether or not the tits on a Lilum look good? A bunch of guys and a lesbo engineer? <laughs> uh, wondering if the latest model's vagina is good enough. Man, God bless those sonners of bitches. <clears throat> Any interesting preview of tomorrow's news? You expect me to share my information when you wouldn't share your scoop on the singer? How can one share when there's honestly nothing to share? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be a good citizen today and let this one pass. Have you heard of a group called the Harbingers? Not really, no. There's some group wanting to overthrow the White Knights. I read their manifesto in the bathroom once. Interesting piece, and even better makeshift toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> they talk about how the organization is corrupt, full of mob bosses or something like that. I think I've heard about that somewhere. What of them? They sent a message to some outlet saying they approve of their claims. That they're gonna release it to the public tomorrow. Oh, that'd be interesting to see, I think. I know, right? <clears throat> Alright, kid. Give me a Bleeding Jane so I can call it a day. Okay. Bleeding Jane. Dee -dee -dee. Boom, Bronson, oh, Bronson, what the, f Bronson, gosh, I'm just messing up, Flanner Guide, uh, all blended, okay. Go boom, there you go, here, simple enough for you, I see. <laughs> So I've heard this is Dana Zane's bar, is it true? Yeah. Never thought I'd hear about the undefeated of the West again. More so after that incident with the bears. Where is she? She's out running some bears? Six years ago, a crash strapped Dana Zane entered an underground ring for money. Faced ten enraged grizzly bears, she beat them all without killing them. I heard she set them free afterwards too. And you were there? I was drunk and bored. What can I say? Do you know if she lost her arm there? Can't remember. Too drunk. Maybe she had her prosthetic then too. I heard someone, someone there suggest that she lost it after throwing a baseball out of some stadium. Threw it so hard, her arm fell off. Damn! <laughs> but that sounds more like an unsubstantiated rumor. More like something she made up. Well, I gotta go. Next time you see Dana, thank her for winning me my second yacht. I knew betting on her was the right choice. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Alright, thank you so much for watching this episode of Nipa TV, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.